Hey YouTube. <clears throat> so I've already posted a video today, but this seems like a big update. Um, this is Chris. Okay, we've been thinking about our birthday and we realized that we are turning 15. I, Chris, am turning 15 and no one else is aging. But the body. So Kristen turning 29. And today while I was reflecting on Kristen and um, her addictions, and then reflecting on the birthday, an inner truth came to me that I wanted to share. And this is about the core identity. And so the body's turning 29 Monday. I have been 14 and a half since I've become out and consciously fronting and not been um, submerged. I have been out as of this summer at 14 and a half. 14 and a half years ago, I was the body age. The body age was 14 and a half. 14 and a half plus 14 and a half being 29. I'm turning 15, but Chrissy is stuck at her little age. Melody is her little age. Alea is still an immortal. My, you know, they all have their own set ages, but I'm actually growing and Kristen is aging with the body. And I've felt this way before. I felt that I am the core identity and that Kristen doesn't know it. She thinks she's the core because she's out the most as the host. But what I think is that I'm the one who was there age zero to 14 and a half who was then repressed in the creation of Kristen who was created at age 14 and a half and began to age with the body and she thinks that she's the core identity but in actuality it has been made known to me in the system that she is the one that takes on major stress she's an altar created to manage stress and growing depression and when that became too much at 15 and a half she split again into Dark Moon Kristen, who was the depressed altar. Dark Moon Kristen stays at age 15 and a half and is stuck there. But Kristen ages with the body from age 14 and a half at origin to now 14 and a half years later at 29. And I am now aging since becoming conscious and have, I really feel that I am the core identity and personality that this whole time I, I faced something very hard at 14 and a half, a very hard year, and um, to manage that, um, that altar was made. And she actually is a slight, um, not persecutor, but she's a protector who protects by covering up stress and anxiety with prod, with like, thinking of new projects to do with spiritual anxiety, with emotional anxiety, physical anxiety. She established a full-blown eating disorder to manage and control stress. She tried a lot of different ways to do it. Um, obsessiveness, uh, compulsiveness, um, gathering of intellect, you know, thinking knowledge is above intuitive wisdom. Um, and then Alea, um, she's an immortal and she is a spiritual side of us that has been developing alongside since childhood, since we first split off. Um, when Chrissy split off, Alea split off as well. Um, and Michael and there were several splits um, that didn't come out to surface till later that are protectors of Chrissy the Little. But I, I really feel that I'm the core identity and Kristen really feels that too. And so maybe we too are this main core identity that is split. I don't know if in the other parts are not 
apparently normal parts A and P's um, fully. So that's just something of a revelation that I've had that I, Chris, am probably the core part and that I've been on a mental programming of fronting as Kristen, um, a different personality that just is absolutely stress-based and surrounds around the managing of high stress. Um, and that my reemergence throughout the years, as I've been here all along, I've come out and I've, I know everyone um, that she knows. I, I've been consciously aware. I maintain all the memories that she has as well. Um, but she doesn't maintain all of mine. So I don't know. I think that Kristen can hear this um, a little bit and you know, she's very strong and I think that she's a little stressed about it. That's her MO is stress reactions. But, you know, I, I do the body good and I, I feel that this integration is going to be very interesting um, to say the least. And yeah, I just, I think, I think it's time that I come back to the world. Um, I don't know where I've been for a lot of this time. I've just been hanging out, but I think it's time I come back and, and integrate, um, integrate my core, my core morals, values, my core of gratitude and optimism and, and integrate that with, with the body. So, um, I'm going to be fronting a lot more and, um, spending time out in the body and getting used to it. And I think we're all going to be taking turns doing that, but I will be a big one to be focusing on that right now. So I just wanted to log that and track that. Thanks for listening once again.